Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm Ben Hansen, filling in for both Leo Vader and Jeff Cork at the same time. And then we have Ben Reeves. Hello. We have Kyle Hilliard at the controls. Hi. Of Mega Man X4, technically. And then yep. we have given former intern Derek Swinhart. Welcome, sir. Hey. Mega Man X fan number one, he insisted. He hey, said, get no. me in this recording <laughs> studio. Come on, we gotta argue about this. I think I'm the biggest X fan in the office. Which is why you've been checking out the Mega Man X Legacy Collection, which is out now, it, basically, right? Yeah, uh, it's out. Uh, yes, it is currently out. And uh, I actually, we're not we're not doing a full review, but I'll have some feedback on it. And it's funny because I really was just like, oh, I'll check it out. You know, I'll dabble in each of the games. But I have ended up playing through all four Mega Man X 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that's just because you don't want to do any other work here yeah. in the office? <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Well, it's uh, not bragging about it either. I'm like, very I'm proud of Mega myself. Mega Man at work. Ooh, I'm so cool. Uh, so we're technically there he playing, goes again. We're playing on what system here, Kyle? This is uh, the PlayStation 4 version. Okay. And uh, like you said, this is X4. But I think, the honestly, the more exciting thing to show off will actually be the special content that's littered all over the uh, disc. Well, what about like in game here? Let's look at these border options. Oh, this yeah, is yeah, good, yeah. Juicy this is stuff good. That I care yeah, we about. can start here. Because this is uh, the distressed lady on the left. I don't care for this. She's Iris, man. <laughs> she's She's got that's double up top there. Okay, so you can, uh, on the PS4, you can press the uh, that gigantic button in the middle of the, uh -huh. the control. You guys know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have different filter. Oh, here, Ooh. let's start with the wallpaper first. So, because you're so offended, you can do X1, right. X2, X3, X4. And then I unlocked these just absolutely stunning wallpapers. Special one seems like the number one choice so far. <laughs> yeah. I like that. It seems like the best. One. Or that <laughs> one seems good. pretty good. Or just off. Just nothing. Uh, I like Thank this one. This much. one just looks bad. Uh, so the default filter, actually, when you start the game is one. Which smooths, really? which smooths everything out. And uh, on X1 in particular, you actually see pixels jumping around on X's model, which is really gross. And, and that's the default. Bad. That's the default one. Let's it, see it in action here, Kyle. Well, well I don't know if it does it. Ugh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know. If, you might not be able to see the video, but like there are little dots like of pixels that are like flashing. Like, right. Yeah. And it's it's not great. Uh, it's better than the iPhone version of Mega Man X that came out a couple years ago. Oh, sure. they did a lot of smoothing on that yeah, one. Yeah, like a lot of smoothing. So that this is the default look, um, but you can you huh. can do this one like adds um, scan, scan lines. lines, which I that's I, that's always nice that that's an option. But uh, does anyone actually use that? They do, know. man. We talked about it on the podcast. If oh, people yeah? wrote in to podcastinginformer dot com and said like, I demand scan lines. I'm one of those freaks. <laughs> okay, there were, there were more of them than you'd expect. Great. I mean, that's that's that's. That's for them. They it is interesting because I don't think we have anybody in the office like that who's just a scan freak. A scan freak. <laughs> scan, <laughs> as we call them. Uh -huh, uh, scan nuts. I, I have an appreciation for that old aesthetic, but like I would much rather just have a clean look yeah. like as as nature intended. So yeah, that's this is the nun the nun filter, which uh, I think is what you should immediately change it to the moment you start playing this game. Yeah, that seems to be no the scan way. lines, doesn't smooth out any of the pixels. Looks great. I love it. Okay, so how many bonus features are actually in this package? Here? All right, so let's see. We got we looked at some of the wallpapers. We looked at the filters. And then okay, so First up, which is nice, you can actually play uh, the English or the Japanese versions for any of the games. Oh, that's really that's cool. So you can hit square and it changes it to Rockman. Oh, that's nice. Um, which is nice. It doesn't really change the game dramatically other than, like, you know, the language. And some of the character names change and Mega Man turns into Rockman. Can you change the character names back to uh, based it on the Aerosmith? <laughs> I screwed it up. <laughs> you got it there? <laughs> Yeah, so on, um, Meg on Mega Man X Collection 2 with Mega Man X5, they have um, they changed all the boss names for Mega Man X5, which, right. which is pretty crazy. Because they were based on Guns N' Roses characters. That's right. Okay, so, hang, and hang no on. Yeah. <laughs> Help me out. I'm, I'm very stupid here. So there's two Mega Man X Legacy Collections? Yes, they're sold separately. So Mega Man X Collection 1 is Mega Man X 1 through 4. The better Mega Man X games, frankly, like uh -huh. those are the the uh, like. There's a nice line after four where the quality starts going down. Okay. So you can buy X One Collection One, Two, Three, and Four for twenty bucks, and then you can buy X Collection Two, which is uh, six, seven, and eight for another twenty bucks, or you can buy them both for forty dollars. Right. And they're separate games. Why would they do that? Yeah. I I don't know. I think they know everybody wants one through four, and I. I guess I don't know. It's it is kind of weird. You I think like might as well just throw those other crappy ones in there too. But. I wish I wish it was one collection. I don't mind paying forty bucks for all eight games, I, but I think the split was just because I think they assume most people just want the first four. I guess. Right. But and this art. Yeah. 
I like this stuff. This, this is half colored uh, art. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, you don't get a lot of insight. There's no like notes or anything really. There is some. It's also like colored pencil. Yeah, it's weird. Like yeah. I don't know if that's just they had children staffed at the time or what, <laughs> but like you get information about the story and the characters and stuff like that, but not really a lot of development insight. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that is disappointing. But it is nice to see these like <laughs> sketches and stuff like that of, of these characters. <laughs> right. And then this is kind of cool. We'll we'll go into uh, this more, but this is this is what has been added for the X collection. Is this mode where you can like fight multiple bosses at the same time? And the, and the cool thing about this is like this is art that they produced for it. But this is cool right here. This is the like armor created for that mode, oh, which cool. is cool. So like this is brand new, you know, fully upgraded armor that is only in this this specific mode in X collection. I think it looks I think it looks nice. Yeah, I like it. it looks cool. It is cool. I Better don't think it's practical. <laughs> But like all the spikes, man. You can headbutt people. You'll be great. Those feet alone are like three tons each. <laughs> well, he's a robot. I guess he's a super fighting robot. A super fighting robot. And there's also, let's see, uh, the music player I like because it's, uh, it's it, you know, you can go through it. It has every song from Let every Derek game. Pick stuff one like that. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite one, oh, Derek? Uh, obviously, Bubble Crab Stage. <laughs> There you go. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Doesn't that bring back memories, Derek? So good. Yeah, you can go and use the the silk shot to like grab all the all the life. You know what I'm talking about, right? Of course. Who, who needs YouTube anymore, right? Exactly. And the nice. So here's the cool thing: you can just turn on this mode where it just like shows clips from the game as you're listening to the music. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. I do. I, I'm a big fan of this, but it's the it's filter one. Right. <laughs> and you can't change you can't that because this is just video, you know? Oh really gross. Uh, so this is good so. for parties, you're saying? Yeah. I mean, the Mega Man X soundtrack could totally be party music for sure. I, I that that I have all those soundtracks on my, my phone and I listen to them more than any healthy And that's well, why Kyle can... has yet to hold a single party at his house. Yeah. <laughs> you can throw that phone away now, Kyle. You have this. <laughs> that's right. That's what, Finally. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. And there's, uh, let's see what else we got. Um, this is cool. You can look at all the different products that have released for the assorted games. I like this oh, one. Oh, this is really cool, actually. Oh, can we do a close up of it? Oh, that's okay. We can't do close up. <laughs> oh, it's so we bad. Dumb looking. that looks. Oh, I wish I had so that. So good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I'm cards. sorry for the person to take all those shots. Someone had to scan all these. Yeah. It wasn't Frank from Frank Cifaldi, uh, Game Informer fan. Game Informer's best friend. friend. Yeah. Uh, not fan. I, he probably doesn't like Game <laughs> I have no idea, uh, but he fan of the show. He know I, he worked on the Legacy Collection uh, for Mega Man One and Two, but I don't right. think he was involved with X. Yeah, he also did the Street Fighter one recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, soundtracks, yeah, you know, cool it's, stuff like that. It's as much as they could cram in there. Huh? Yeah, uh, I like this too. Uh, we don't have to watch all this, but what this is is the animated cutscenes from the PSP remake of Mega Man X One. So oh, they didn't really? include him in there. Yeah, but. so the so Maverick Hunter X, which is the PSP remake of the original Mega Man X, is not included on here, mm -hmm. but the anime cutscenes are. Dude, let's just watch these. This sounds cool. I when this came out, this was a big deal to me because this since it's a remake of X One, these are like anime. This is an animated prequel to Mega Man X. So like for all you super fans, Wait, Sig an animated Sig prequel. Yeah, so like Sigma here, he's still a good guy. They're showing him as a good guy fighting Mavericks. Cause this is before he went rogue and X had to fight him for the rest of his life. You know. Come on, Hanson. Wait. I, is this exciting for you? I'm so confused. When would this play? It wasn't just in the remake. They would patch it throughout. It's not like a Chrono Trigger on PlayStation type so, of thing. So basically, when you started Mega Man X, Maverick Hunter X on PSP, this was the opening cutscene for the okay, game. Okay. And then, so this was cool. But then they also had, you know, cut animated cutscenes throughout. So this yeah. is the day the the main villain of Mega Man the Mega Man X series Sigma. This is the day that he went bad because he used to be a good guy robot that would fight the bad guy robots. Right. But he went bad and then he devoted his life to trying to kill X. There he is. Look uh -huh. at him. You know that can happen, right, Hanson? Sometimes people just go bad one day. Yeah. Wait, what are you saying? I'm just saying it could happen to any of us. And look, there's there's Chill Penguin. He's a good guy too. This is before he went on Maverick. This is is super Chill Penguin. <laughs> <laughs> the chillest of penguins. Uh, so I'm glad they included this on here. Um, That's cool. One thing they didn't include, as far as like animated cutscenes go, Mega Is Man X gonna use that to slow himself down. Oh, I think so. He's gonna that. nuke the city. <laughs> <laughs> just dies. Just collapse. He shoots Sigma in the head. Oh, sorry, buddy. That actually would have solved literally all of his problems for the rest of his life. Aging Doctor Freud. But uh, let's see. That's cool, right? Yeah. Uh, but so Mega Man X3 on I think it was Saturn and PC had animated cutscenes and as near as I can tell those are not anywhere on the game because huh. the, the the version of Mega Man X3 that's here is Mega Man X3. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm, 
is, is the Super Nintendo version. Right. So that's like one missing thing. That's, 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 that's like the only super crazy people like me would really be offended by that. Yeah. So. Super crazers. And now what's the most exciting thing? The most exciting thing. Uh, he says the boss thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to explain that yeah, Maverick Hunter mode real quick? This is it. This is we're looking at it right now. Or no, sorry. There was that. The rookie mode? Rookie mode. Oh, rookie was. mode. Yeah, so that basically more or less lets you play the games on easy. Oh. Uh, like you, spikes don't automatically kill you. And uh, I'm going to put this on easy because I'm because I'm lame. But uh, spikes don't automatically kill you. And if you fall in like a pit, you get, you know, some help in that regard. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's nice. I, I appreciate that that's there. Uh, okay, so this mode here, this lets you take on two bosses simultaneously. Okay. Uh, and it's tough. Uh, so they're kind of predetermined challenges. Yes, like. they're predetermined. Okay. And then you can take in three... Uh, oh, I don't want to do that. You can take in three weapons with you. So like, what? So, you, so you have Chill Penguin and Frost Walrus. Mm -hmm. And... Oh, and uh, and I know like Fire Wave and Rising Fire were the two attacks that like hurt them mm -hmm. in the original game. But I've also got the next two bubbles. You can see I got the Bubble Crab, your favorite, Derek. Oh, of course. And uh, Derek, fucking cool it about Bubble Crab. <laughs> I mean, I, he's fine. He's a fine boss. I don't know why you're so crazy about him. Uh, and then the, I don't remember the crocodile's name, but uh, he's in there. And then the third one that we have to do one three is like a grizzly bear guy and like a another so you got to split the difference a little bit yeah here. so you got to figure okay. out which one so like i you know that first round's pretty easy so i'm not gonna take any fire with me but uh yeah, let's see yeah spin wheel is good and then i'll just take uh you know this one for good measure and this is cool i really like this because like uh it doesn't it doesn't really fit like those ones a, a 32 bit uh, sprite from the Mega Man X4 and ones a 16 bit sprite from Mega Man X1. Oh, so, awesome! Like, it's kind of cool though. They don't really fit, but I like that. Like I think it's really strange. Uh, and also, I, I want to see you with the different filters. Does that like even them out in a way? Oh, I don't know. Let's see if we can. I do. I haven't even like messed with filter stuff on uh, in this mode. Right. And they have uh, original music, which is cool too. All right, let's see. Uh -huh. You can change your X Buster? Yeah, so in fact, I'm going to just do one. Oh, I can't. Uh... There we go. So I can change dash. Let's see. What are the filter options here? Looks like it's the word dash. So the same, same filter types. Okay. Should we look at, so let's look at type one? Let's see, see what it looks like here. Yeah. And then we have we have all our normal wallpaper. Well, you need so. the X challenge for this. Oh, I mean, thank it's you. Pretty... You're right. You're right. It's we'll pretty clear you. here, Kyle. <laughs> okay. All right. You guys ready? Yep. Quit ticking around. Here we go. This is the way it was meant to be played. Oh! Well, you, you know. <laughs> you got some right. job done, I guess. Yeah. That's cool. It shows their health bar up there. And I love the idea of just ramming these guys together. Yeah, I do too. I, I really like this a lot. Does it? And it's, it's hard too, which is sure. cool. Does it refill your health between battles? Or how does that work? It does on easy, uh, but not on the normal difficulty. Oh. So I've only gotten through like one or two on uh, normal and easy as well, actually, because even even on easy, it gets pretty tough. So I'm going to have to uh, make it through all these challenges just to prove I'm a bigger Mega Man X fan than you. Yeah, oh, and you got to do it before I do. And I've got at least a week on you playing. This that's game right. Already, you so. got it ahead of time uh, because you're a bigger fan. Of yeah. Guess, and that's know. also <laughs> that how that works. <laughs> The, the nice thing about getting a game like this early is I'm currently, like, top six on the leaderboard, so that's going to go away real quick yeah. <laughs> the second the game comes Not out. Not if you're a real big fan, Kyle. That's I'm, true. I'm glad you got on this video just to brag about it, though. I really appreciate I, it. I'm proud of myself. Oh, see, I got some health from uh, Frost Walrus there. That's another thing that only happens on easy. So we'll get through this guy. I almost got him. Do you get anything for completing these challenges other uh, than just you get leaderboard to, stuff? You get to go on a video and brag about how you're oh, top six in the oh, world okay. until the game actually releases to the public. Pride. Um, I, honestly, there might be some unlockables. There was, before the game came out, there was a um, a trophy. Like, people found listings for a trophy that was like, look at, look at the museum and unlock this secret image. And... People got excited about that because in the Mega Man Legacy Collection, there was a secret image that you could unlock, and it ended up being a tease for Mega Man 11. Hmm. But uh, in this game, all the special image, like when I, I got the trophy, this was what I got. This was this the hidden You're image. Telling me that's not worth it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> unless that's a tease for Mega Man X9 that I don't oh, understand. Uh, I mean, I was I was had my hopes really high, so maybe I was I was just. Uh, you know, setting myself up. For How much you want to bet they're working on it, though? 
Oh God, I, hope I would so. bet zero dollars. You don't think so? With Mega I'm Man, I'm sure 11? there's been one discussion. Yeah, but I'm sure they're waiting to see how Mega Man 11. Working does. on it in the sense that, like, I bet the Mega Man 11 team will start working on it after they're done with 11. Yeah, I bet they go right to 12. <laughs> Anyways, this seems neat, Kyle. Are you enjoying the package overall? Yes, it's good. There's a cut like the the little things that bug me are like the uh, that it defaults to. Um, to the type one filter for so every game for every game well yeah. actually when, when you change it once it changes across the board okay All so right. it's like it's a quick fix but it is it's it's just kind of like why <laughs> i don't know it just does not look good and why it's, are you it's doing a little strange that, that, that they did that yeah uh but yeah this i like i I would have been happy just having all eight games in one package because I really love this series yeah but to add this mode is really cool and unexpected like, yeah I, I would have I, I can't even imagine the programming that went into this especially when like bosses are from different games like these these two are both from x2 yeah which maybe makes it a little simpler but for the characters like you know the one that we just did that was a character from x1 and a character from x4 a super nintendo game and a playstation game which, which is just cool seems crazy yeah, yeah. I, yeah it'd be interesting to see some of the, like the 3d bosses with i wonder if they do that i yeah i don't think so because it looks like depending on what you x collection one and x collection to both have the same like list of bosses that you fight yeah so i don't think okay. any Mega Man x7 bosses are going to be on here because that was the 3d Mega Man x because i don't i don't even know how that would work the real bad one yeah the the worst Mega Man x game for sure and kyle is this coming out on everything same days switch everything yep. uh i don't know about pc but xbox one ps4 and switch yeah there we go and we are looking at the ps4 version which is just fine sweet derek is there anything you want to say and goodbye to Bubble Man. You can whisper uh, it directly into the shout mic. Shout out or... to my boy Bubble Crab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bubble Crab. We'll uh, we'll see you soon, buddy. Hey, Kyle. Thanks for showing this off. And Ben Reeves. Thanks for talking about yeah, it. Yeah. Thanks. thanks, everybody. Cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Until next time on New Gameplay today. Bye. Bye.